face when I see Mother Buck on the other Patricia in the year to the This evening, bless God, he leadeth me, O blessed God, O words with heavenly comfort from. Whatever I do, wherever I be, still taste God's hands that lead at me. Let's go.
singing, give God praise. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. In His presence there is fullness of joy. And at His right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Just want to read quickly a mere word here from the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 from verse 23 to 25. The word says, be born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withered, and the flower thereof there faith falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Give him praise and glory. Bless God. Let me give honor to the Most High God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me greet amen, all the servants, the attendants of ministers that are here. Amen. Friends who have come. Amen. Pay their respect. Amen. To the late. Amen. Bishop Odell Alexander Powell. Accept holy greetings in Jesus Christ's name. It's actually the first time I'm coming here. Amen. Bless God. And the bishop is not here. Amen. It's very sad. I've been coming here for 20 years. Give him praise and glory. Amen. And just to say that uh, over the years that I've known him, he has been a very good man to me. Every Saturday morning, amen, we eat pork. Amen. Bless God at the workplace. Yam, banana, and everything like that. Amen. Bless God at me. Amen. He was just a good man. Amen. What more can I say? But his earth lease and life has expired. Amen. He's in a better place right now. No more taxes. No more light bill. Amen. Bless God. No more expenses. Amen. He's better off than you and I today. He has left the land of the dead to the land of the living. Give him praise and glory. Amen. May his soul rest in peace in Jesus Christ's name. Give him praise. Amen. Let me go quickly to the program. And let me advise you that, amen, we don't have our night here. What you have never said to him while he was alive, it is not possible to say to him now. Amen, just, amen, bless God. Say something, bless God. Hallelujah. Amen, beautiful. Amen, and move on so that uh, every person that uh, is here, uh, bless God, and wants to say something, get the opportunity to do so. Let me extend sincere condolences to Amen. His wife. Amen. His children and grandchildren. His immediate and extended family. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His countenance shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace. Bless you in the city. Bless you in the field. Bless you in your going out and in your coming in. Let us praise the Lord. Let me go to the program quickly. Give him praise. Give him praise. I, I top the list here. I have Evangelist Esther. Amen. And she will be followed by Sister Ellis and Deacon M. Lane. Come quickly. Bless God. Let me advise you now. Turn off all cell phones. Please. Evangelist Star. Thank you. 
coming out here, they are being through that. But it's too long for the class to stay. I remember when he went over there at Gregory Park and he preached this uncompromising that Praise the Lord, he didn't back down. Praise the Lord. And you know, he has taught us, he has been and told that tonight, that he has taught us, he has left us, Lord God, to the world. And he has nurtured us, bring us up in this gospel. And he has taught us how to love. He has, you know, it's like he was a man of, you know, Lord God, a peacemaker. Praise the Lord, he taught us how to love each other, how to forgive each other. And tonight, I just, I would go on, but thanks be to God in the life of our bishop and pastor. And he has been so good to have done with Jesus Christ. Bless God. Give him praise and glory, sister. Ellis. Bless God. Let's move on. Deep and let. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, tonight I was set my deepest condolences. Praise the Lord. Tonight I set my deepest condolences to the degree family. Praise God. The family of the Bishop. Tonight, praise God, just a word to the family. Life can be truly overwhelming at times. As we all endure life, unexpected setbacks. Unfortunately, this is not new to the people of God. God in overcoming all our obstacles since the dawn of humanity. We can look to our friends and family support and encouragement when we need it the most. We can also turn to the Word of God in the moment of distress. Truly, Bishop Powell has been a father, a friend, and a leader, a true man of God. He has taught me well. You know, Daddy, I call him Daddy, not enough of you might not know because he's like truly the father I never had. This man, uh, you know, I sit around this table in his home have dinner. And we talked about some things which I cannot utter right now. But Daddy would say things to me, would talk to me, and I relate back. You know, tonight I can truly tell you from the depth of my heart that Daddy had mean so much to me. He has gone totally, praise God, where that is my bishop, where it will all be good. And I know that that you would like everyone here to carry on. He like everyone to smile. I heard him say, some time back, he don't want anyone to cry for him because he's going to be with his maker, his father. So tonight, I want to cut it short, but I just want to read this poem for the family. We do not need a special day to bring you to our mind, that. The day we do not think of you are very hard to find. Each morning when we wake, we know that you are gone. And no one knows the heartache as we try to carry on. Our heart shall ache with sadness 
and seek your tears shall fail. When it be means to lose, to lose you, no one will ever know. I will talk always with you, your place no one can fill. In life we love you dearly, daddy. In death we love you still. There will always be an heartache and oftentimes silent tears, but always a precious memory of the day when you were here. If tears would make Heartache made God bless you as you mourn Jesus Christ. Give God praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Evangelist lost her this time. Bless God.
If you let me be ashamed in front of these people or whoever I'm going to be standing before, it would not only be a Wednesday night that I'm going to be absent, but that is going to be my last day in church. And as I walk to the podium, I took that Bible and I get down in my, by my text because I always read the Bible. And God helped me to expound the word of God to the congregation with the anointing of the Holy Ghost and power. And saints of God, because of Bishop Odell, Alexander Paul tonight, I am an evangelist that I can stop before a congregation and I can speak and I can preach and I can testify and I can exalt the word of God. I've been 28 years under his ministry. I worked with him as an employee for 15 years. He has been a good father. He helped me to father my children by helping me to direct their steps. He helped me to be a good wife. He helps me to be everything. That is good. God bless you. Family, 
church family, friends, loved ones, my sincerest condolences. It was not matter if I would have been here tonight, it's just working it out because I knew I had to be here to celebrate his life. Our prayers are with you and we'll continue to pray that God will keep you in this most difficult times and for the months and years to come. God bless you. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give him praise.